Number eight, which of the following pairs are resonant structures? So remember, electrons are moving, but atoms are not. Atoms do not move for resonant structures. So let's start with A. Well, notice the atoms moved because these are just CHs, yet we somehow got a CH3. A hydrogen moved, so no, that cannot be a resonant structure. What about B? Well, again, how did we gain that hydrogen there? It must have moved since there are three initially here, and now there's only two. The third one moved up here. That doesn't make sense. That's not a resonant structure because the atoms moved. We're only looking for electrons moving. Now when we get to C and D, they're very similar. The only difference is where the charges are placed. Notice none of the atoms moved, so great, that checks out. The tiebreaker here is looking at the electronegative atom, which is oxygen. That wants to be negative. It does not want to be positive. The more electronegative atom wants to hold the negative charge. So C must be our option. Another way that you can look at this is actually drawing the resonance structure, where it's the only place that this can move onto the oxygen. That's where our new lone pair is. This only had two. This is the correct structure. It does not make sense for the electrons to now move onto the carbon. It does not want to be negative. Carbon does not want to have a negative charge.